Okay, today I'm going to be looking at my Steam Deck. I'm going to be doing some upgrades, some, uh, the main memory system upgrade, and uh, allowing me to run an SD card full of uh, nice retro stuff. So first and foremost, close down your uh, Steam Deck and go into this utility by pressing the positive, the volume up, and the power button. This brings this menu up. And you go down to the uh, bottom right selection screen. Pan down here to power and then put the battery into a battery save mode. Um, apparently this is a better way of just making sure nothing goes wrong when you're inside the Steam Deck. Once you've got the system properly shut down, it's time to open the case up. You can put the Steam Deck inside its box if you want to be careful of the joysticks. Um, I was just being very gentle so I didn't really see the need for that. A lot of people have used uh, you know, spudges and pries and stuff like that. My fingers are particularly strong due to the work I actually do. I'm a car mechanic or a technician if you want to be uh, the latest buzzword for it. But uh, my fingers are obviously very strong from all that work. So just gently prising the tabs apart. I didn't find any problems really getting that off. But like I said, my fingers may well be stronger than others. We need to get this heat shield or RF shield off here. Uh, there's only one real hidden screw and that's under a piece of little uh, like uh, aluminium tape so just peel that back and there's another screw under that once you've got this out of the way it exposes the drive which is just there there's one screw holding it in um, some people disconnect the battery there is a battery uh, terminal just to the right hand side the top right of this picture um, you can if you're worried disconnect the battery I'd had a proper shutdown so I decided not to so just pop the uh, retaining screw out of there and lift the little drive out and it just pops out nice and gently there is a little jacket for it I don't really know a lot of people say to change this over but I don't really know if it's worth it or not but uh, I've decided to follow a lot of other instructions that have been online just to uh, do it all properly whether this gives it some sort of heat protection I think from uh, the internals or what I don't know but we'll, we'll go with the flow I decided to go with the Western Digital Drive um, you know there are different sizes um, I've decided to go for a one terabyte uh, just to mimic really what was on my SD card originally so there is a specific one and a specific size um, which you can you know there, there's a lot of uh, easy ways to find out which particular one this is just the particular one that seemed to be what most people were going for um, I'll probably in hindsight maybe I should have gone for a bigger drive this drive cost me about a hundred pounds so it was about as much as I wanted to spend so I've just gone with that so once we swapped over the little jacket uh, pop the screw back in and really it's just a reversal of what we've already done just remembering that all the screws do go in specific places so you do need to lay the screws out just to make sure they all go back in the same place Right, so after you've got the actual SSD installed, we're going to have to get the recovery image from the uh, Steam's website. You click on this little link and it will download the recovery image for the Steam Deck. You can also download another program called Rufus, which allows you to write the image to your chosen media. Usually that's a uh, USB stick or something like that. It needs to be at least 8 gig. So once you've imaged it over to your USB drive, you press the minus and the power on and that should if you get it right bring on a B 
bootloader screen, so it'll you can choose which drive to boot the Steam Deck from. So in the menu you should see populate the actual new SSD drive and your USB stick. So what you've got to do is highlight the USB stick and press the A button to start the program unpacking the recovery file and the process of re-imaging your new storage medium. This does take a considerable time and it's all prompted on screen to tell you, you know, to proceed and what you've got to do. So there's, there's no uh, real problems with this. It does take quite a long time. There was quite a few times that I thought that it had froze, um, but then as soon as you go to do some, it literally popped up with what it was actually doing. So it's pretty straightforward. Nothing really to worry about. As long as you don't disconnect anything, you end up with this menu, which is basically the start as if you were when you have the Steam Deck from new, you're choosing your language, you're choosing your Wi-Fi and your location. Obviously, once you've connected to uh, the Wi-Fi, it's going to start installing and updating the image. So we'll speed this process up. It does take quite a while. So usually go and get a cup of tea or whatever. And basically, once it's got to this process, the system updates, gets everything ready, and then you log into your Steam account. This is just your normal setup. If you've got your phone, you can scan the QR code, and there you are back into your original account. And this allows you then, well, in my case, I moved all the game library that I had for the Steam Deck from the SD card over to the new NVMe drive. So that pretty finalizes the Steam Deck side of it. By pressing the power and the minus sign at the same time and booting into the boot menu, I've popped in my SD card, which has now got the uh, Batasera, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, install on it, one that I've um, downloaded, which is uh, a straight image port over to the SD. And on initialising that, this is what you get. It's fairly easy to come across. Um, you just It's a one terabyte image. There are different size images for different SD cards. If you just Google that, they do come up uh, and obviously that'll give you the download links for that. So once you've got it all installed, this is the uh, other side of the Steam Deck now. I've got my Steam Deck obviously running the normal Steam games um, and I decided to go with this one terabyte SD card for my retro stuff. So I think this is pretty as good as near enough as good as it can get. Um, the menu in, everything set up for you, it's absolutely fantastic. It's got loads and loads of games on it. Not all of them work. There are some of the more demanding arcade ports and stuff like that, which are a bit finicky, which I'm not bothered about. Most of the, you know, most of the stuff I came here for is here. Um, you know, Dreamcast, Saturn, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. And there's a few in there that I was quite surprised, like the Vectrex and the original Xbox and the uh, Nintendo 64 Double D. I was quite surprised for those uh, incarnations to be in here. So there's lots and lots for me to try uh, and I'm really looking forward to going through some of this uh, in depth really to see what uh, I can play out of this. Um, interestingly enough, the Virtual Boy just popping up there. I am in the middle of doing a um, consolizing uh, one of my broken Virtual Boys. So hopefully if I can get that to work okay, we will be bringing that a video in the future. Um, Switch games there, so uh, it, that's a bonus. So I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, it's quite a fully featured um, load, you know, and it's one terabyte load. So there is loads and loads on there. And the quality of the Switch, it runs most of them pretty well. There are, like I say, there are a few, but 90, 97, 98% of them are really, really good. So really pleased with this, how uh, well it's gone. It was well worth it. So I'm just going to um, load up a Dreamcast game here. Just to have a play, really, just to show you the quality of and how quick the stuff loads. You know, bearing in mind this is running from an SD card. I suppose I could have gone a bit bigger and done more fancier things with the main drive, but I quite like this that I can uh, take this out and add more storage if I want. You know, if I was going to run more games on my um, Steam Deck. Um, but this is quite nice that I've now got a bit of both. You know, both worlds really. I've got a nice separate image of uh, retro games and uh, a nice safe version of my Steam Deck which is nicely updated uh, and hopefully runs a lot better. You know, The SD card is fine but there are some limitations I found with the Steam Deck. I currently played through um, Stray on the Steam Deck and uh, it, was, it was quite choppy. You could tell it was running from an SD card so 
obviously now I've got this installed I'm hoping that that experience will be better and things will run and load in a lot more smoothly so I'm just going to play this out just a quick go on uh, GigaWing 2 I'm just going to play this out so if you've made it this far thank you for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video bye for now Nightmares in my head, I fear Let the thoughts build up until I can't hear